Alessandro Volta. Alessandro Giuseppe Antonio Anastasio Volta, the 18th of February 1745 to the 5th of March 1827, was an Italian physicist known for the invention of the battery in the 1800s. Contents. Early life and works. Volta was born in Como, a town in present-day northern Italy, near the Swiss border, on February 18, 1745. In 1774, he became a professor of physics at the Royal School in Como. A year later, he improved and popularized the electrophorus, a device that produced static electricity. His promotion of it was so extensive that he is often credited with its invention, even though a machine operating on the same principle was described in 1762 by the Swedish experimenter Johan Wilk. In the years between 1776 to 78, Volta studied the chemistry of gases. He discovered methane, after reading a paper by Benjamin Franklin of America on flammable airs, and Volta searched for it carefully in Italy. In November, 1776, he found methane at Lake Magia, and by 1778 he managed to isolate methane. He devised experiments such as the ignition of methane by an electric spark in a closed vessel. Volta also studied what we now call electrical capacitance, developing separate means to study both electrical potential, V, and charge, Q, and discovering that for a given object, they are proportional. This may be called Volta's law of capacitance, and it is likely that for this work the unit of electrical potential has been named the volt. In 1779 he became a professor of experimental physics at the University of Pavia, a chair that he occupied for almost 25 years. In 1794, Volta married an aristocratic lady also from Como, Teresa Biregrini, with whom he raised three sons, Giovanni, Flaminio and Zanino. Volta and Galvani Luigi Galvani discovered something he named animal electricity when two different metals were connected in series with the frog's leg, and to one another. Volta realized that the frog's leg served as both a conductor of electricity, what we would now call an electrolyte, and as a detector of electricity. He replaced the frog's leg with brine-soaked paper, and detected the flow of electricity by other means familiar to him from his previous studies. In this way he discovered the electrochemical series, and the law, that the electromotive force, EMF, of a galvanic cell, consisting of a pair of metal electrodes separated by electrolyte, is the difference between their two electrode potentials, thus, two identical electrodes and a common electrolyte give zero net EMF. This may be called Volta's law of the electrochemical series. In 1800 as the result of a professional disagreement over the galvanic response advocated by Galvani, he invented the voltaic pile, an early electric battery, which produced a steady electric current. Volta had determined that the most effective pair of dissimilar metals to produce electricity was zinc and silver. Initially he experimented with individual cells in series, each cell being a wine goblet filled with brine into which the two dissimilar electrodes were dipped. The voltaic pile replaced the goblets with cardboard soaked in brine. First battery. In announcing his discovery of his voltaic pile, Volta paid tribute to the influences of William Nicholson, Tiberius Cavallo, and Abraham Bennett. The battery made by Volta is credited as the first electrochemical cell. It consists of two electrodes, one made of zinc, the other of copper. The electrolyte is either sulfuric acid mixed with water or a form of saltwater brine. The electrolyte exists in the form 2H plus and so 42. The zinc, which is higher than both copper and hydrogen in the electrochemical series, reacts with the negatively charged sulfate, so 42. The positively charged hydrogen ions, protons, capture electrons from the copper, forming bubbles of hydrogen gas, H2. This makes the zinc rod the negative electrode and the copper rod the positive electrode. Thus, there are two terminals, and an electric current will flow, if they are connected. The chemical reactions in this voltaic cell are as follows. Zinc. Zn Zn2 plus plus 2E. Sulfuric acid. 2H plus plus 2EH2. The copper does not react, but rather it functions as an electrode for the electric current. However, this cell also has some disadvantages. It is unsafe to handle, since sulfuric acid, even if dilute, is dangerous to human beings. Also, the power of the cell diminishes over time, because the hydrogen gas is not released. 
Instead, it accumulates on the surface of the zinc electrode and forms a barrier between the metal and the electrolyte solution. Last years and retirement. In honor of his work, Volta was made a count by Napoleon Bonaparte in 1801. Furthermore, his image was depicted upon the Italian 10,000 lira note, no longer in circulation, since the lira has been replaced by the euro, along with a sketch of his well-known voltaic pile. Volta retired in 1819 to his estate in Camnago, a frasioner of Como, Italy, now named Camnago Volta in his honor. He died there on March 5, 1827. Volta's remains were also buried in Camnago Volta. Volta's legacy is celebrated by the Tempio Valciano Memorial located in the public gardens by the lake. There is also a museum which has been built in his honor, and it exhibits some of the original equipment that Volta used to conduct experiments. Not far away stands the Villa Almo, which houses the Valcian Foundation, an organization promoting scientific activities. Volta carried out his experimental studies and produced his first inventions near Como. Religious Beliefs Volta was raised as a Christian, and for all of his life continued to maintain a strong faith and to attend church. Publications D.V. Attractive Erignus Electricity, 1769, on the attractive force of electric fire, E9, on the attractive